We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. Hope you're ready for some more painting fun. I'm gonna try something today I haven't done in quite a while, but this was one of the pores I loved the most in my early painting days. So let's play with my funnel. Come on down to the canvas and let's have some fun. Hold on. Okay, everyone. Today we are working on a 16 by 20 standard canvas. It is taped push pinned on the back and I did spray the back with water to tighten it up. Now I have my level out because I haven't talked about the level lately and I'm going to bring it back in. You want to make sure that your canvas is level. So you want to get your level out. You want to lay it. You want to check it around your canvas to make sure that everything's looking good. And if it's not, you can do what I've done. Put a little popsicle stick under the end that needs to come up just a bit to get that level. All right, let's go through our colors. I've got some gorgeous colors today. First is gonna be our base color, and this is our Liquitech Basics in Prussian Blue Hue. That is such a gorgeous dark blue, and that is gonna dry really dark, folks. So that's gonna be our base. Our colors are going to be, we're gonna use some color flash today. So this is Folk Art Color Flash in Blue Violet Flash. Then I've got Folk Art Raspberry Flash. One of my favorites, Folk Art Dragon Flash. That is a gorgeous green, people. The gorgeous gold shift. Artist Loft Vermilion, because that's been playing nice for me lately. I have Liquitech Basics in Turquoise Blue. And my final color is my DecoArt 24K Gold. And into that, I have put just a little bit of my Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold, just to change that tone a bit. I love that combination. Okay, now for the type of funnel pour we're gonna do, we're gonna do a traveling funnel pour. And that means that I'm gonna start the funnel in one place and I'm gonna move it around the canvas as I go. Now with a funnel pour, you put a base coat down on the whole canvas and then you place your funnel into a puddle and then you're gonna lift, after you fill your funnel with your colors, you're gonna lift it just enough to release paint without coming above the base coat paint. So your paints are gonna bubble up through that base coat as you go. So let's see if we can make this work. Let's start with putting down that base coat. What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection. Now all my paints today are mixed with my favorite mix pour. To find my bottle. So if you'd like to get mix pour, you can contact Krista at Krista8974. She will get you some mix. I love using mix. First thing we're going to do is torch this because we want our base coat not to be full of bubbles. in sort of a curve. So we're gonna start right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a puddle down. And I'm sort of gonna 
put a little pathway for myself. A little extra base along my trail. And that's just going to help me get a better reaction if I follow that path. Okay, now we're going to take our funnel. I'm going to push it down so that no paint can come out. And we're going to start loading it up. So we're just going to put a little of each color. We don't want to put a lot at a time of each color because, you know, it's a small hole there. They're going to pile up. I probably have plenty enough paint in here at this point. So I'm just going to finish up with a little dragon flash and a little gold. All right. Clean up some of these drips. Let me change your angle a little if I can. Let me see if I can do that while I'm so you might be able to see the bottom of the funnel better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to barely raise the funnel enough to let some paint out. Yeah, and we're going to continue to move the funnel along our path. Let this sit for a sec. We'll be back up top. All right, we've got some lovely bubbles coming up. Now we want to be patient. We want those bubbles to get a chance to rise. We'll do a little torching before we do anything more. And then we'll start playing. Don't want to rush it. You have to have a little patience with this one, folks. Patience is a hard thing sometimes. They do have some beautiful cells coming up. So let's give that a little torch. Oh, I'm loving what's going on in here and here and I love this right here now it's time to play so to play we're going to get out our straw and we're going to have a little fun we're going to, between our smack stick and our straw we're going to have us some fun here folks
Notice I'm doing most of my playing with the brighter colors. That will stand out a little more. Like the vermilion and the gold, the raspberry. Add a little umph. of the color without it adding too much. Experiment and play with your pool. Nobody wants dull and boring. Have some fun. I'm just gonna put a little bit here.
do for a minute. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to do a little tilting just to see what happens. Because, you know, why not? There's a lot of paint on here. And maybe I'll be happier with it if I stretch it. to you. Just want to try stretching this a little and see what happens. Some of it is moving a lot, some of it is not moving much at all. I'm not realizing there is definitely not enough base right here. Got a little more base right here because it seems to be stopping because there's nothing to slide. Okay. Let's see if that helps that move a little. Pulls it along. Yes, much better. sections are definitely moving faster than others because they have a lot more on them. It's a lot more paint in the middle here than on the outside so the middle is moving faster. Stretch this a bit more. Get some of this paint off. Let it play a bit and see if I'm happier when I'm done. Okay, let's let that sit a second and see what I think. That's pretty cool. It needs to go. when you're painting needs just a little something, a little nudge to get it right. Okay, now I'm happier. That's pretty cool. Also got a lot of that excess paint off. Sides need a little work, but other than that, we're doing pretty good here. Alright, I think I'm done. Alright, I am going to clean up my edges and torch this again. And then I'll bring you down to take a look. Hang in there. Okay, we have wet results. So I did get some nice cells. Had some fun. Put a lot of embellishment in. The blowing. Added some tilting at the end because I just wasn't quite happy enough and thought maybe stretching it would help. Not sure mixed reviews but it is fun and I think it's gonna dry really well so let's give this one time to dry and see what we think hang in there for dry results
Okay, we have dry results for this painting. Not bad. Some of the colors look like they're a little faded, but I think that's just the way they blended. Follow the trail here. It's beautiful. I think it came out pretty cool. Okay, so that is our end results on that one. Some cool cells, some interesting blends. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to see more videos. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful weekend, everyone.